<laughs> All right, here's another contact sensitive bit. A light in the dark, which you're going to want because this part here is kind of annoying. It's actually very simple when you know the trick, but it's kind of annoying. Annoying how? You'll see. You're underwater throughout this entire thing, so you're going to have to find air bubbles constantly. If you can't, it, you if you fuck up and you drown, you're just going to get killed. No mercy. And you can tell when Conker's air is restored via his head. Yeah. From from video, from other footage that I saw, I saw actually his face go purple. Yeah. Yeah. If his face goes too, if his face gets way too weakened, you're gonna end up getting killed. You're gonna look for the light here first and foremost. Oh shit. Air, 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 air. Is Conker one of those games? Well, you just lost chocolate there. Um. It's not one of those games where after you reach your limit, you start losing health. Yeah. Okay, so you and you'll lose it quickly. Okay, so, so you have some sort of buffer, but not much. Right. We're gonna head up here real quick. Basically, you're gonna aim for the light. You can come up here to recharge your batteries because they will die out in the fucking area. Oh. Uh. Also, something to look out for are those fucking annoying little fish. They're fish? Mechanical fish. They, they see conquer, you get chomped. Now you're gonna come up here. Apparently they have a thing for red squirrels. See, this is the lever you're gonna wanna pull. Now we're gonna find the yellow one. It's green. I don't think I'll ever run into a 3D warrior area that's as annoying as Cannon's Core in SA2 without the air necklace. Cannon's Core? Yeah. Sorry, first you're looking for the green. You were saying? The final level in SA2. Right. In the last story. Wow. You, you take control of every character. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the knuckles part. If you do that without the air necklace, it's nearly bullshit. You're gonna come back. You're gonna when you pull the switch. You're gonna go back out through the green lights, all the way out to the room you were in with that first one here before. Ow, and you Ooh. get chomped because fucking asshole. Here, you're gonna head for the yellow lights, and then you're gonna head up. Yes, I died here a lot as a kid. Hey, you get air for the air bubbles anyway, that's my question. Because cartoon. Because cartoon. <laughs> How does Sonic do it? He goes in his nose. Still covered in water. There's a surface, we just gotta go a bit hard. Oh no, the fucking fish! There's a surface that we haven't scratched. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. You're just gonna barely make it. Oh, shit. oh, damn it. <sighs> You've seen the whole level. Now we're just going to cut to when we get done yeah. that part. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, because I believe Marky when he says that. The only reason why we're 9-3 and three is because we've been playing this entire season against chumps. That, too, when yeah. You go to, when you go to a real pro team, as in Green Bay, we get our asses whipped. Green Bay was, was a fucking disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> but the main problem with that, though, was that because the Eagles, the Eagles offense is great, it's just their defense is clowned. Well, we'll find out. Well, we're, le we're NFC East leaders now. Uh, it's just, you know, we'll see how long that lasts come postseason. As long as Dallas don't win, I don't give a shit. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we managed to get on the other side of this. We can now go down the hole. Never give a shit about them Dallas boys. Fuck Dallas, that's the cause of Ronald family cheer. They are rivals. For some reason, I don't know why. Really? Dallas are Philadelphia's rivals. I have no idea why, though. You fucking hate each other. Because we're both NFC East. I guess. Uh, I always wonder how people do those. What, smoke rings? Yeah. That has something to do with your tongue. <laughs> are, they, are they stoned? One stoned, one's drunk. And they shit hot fire. Furry guy looks kind of flammable. Flammable. Oh, I like 
So now we're gonna hide. And so we did. <laughs> did he really shut the joint up his ass? Right up the sweet spot. Now here's a part of the game you may be well familiar with. We have to get rid of the fire rims. How do we do that? Drink up. And now you get to play as Drunk Conquer. Oh, again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it gets better, Elliot. You ever see the GTA 5 LSD scene? No. I should, though. Now, how are we going to put him out? We've oh, God. Come on! We're literally piss ass drunk. I got beer in my mouth! <laughs> Is that infinite? No. <laughs> you got bladder steel, man. They will not hesitate to sneak up behind you and fucking get you like that. That's a cheap shot and a half, but whatever. <laughs> you jerk, I was in the middle of pissing. Yeah, seriously. But bro code etiquette, dude. <laughs> Irene! Why am I peeing like we were up all night having sex? <laughs> oh, th there's a downside to this. Was the faucet run out after a while? Yes, it does. <laughs> and when it does, you've got some problems in this section. <laughs> Fuck! It's distinctly yellow. Yep, yeah, it's pink! Because your diet's terrible. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, whenever you're hungover, you have to run over to the contact-sensitive area with the fire rims nearby. If you nearby could you. run. You vomit. That's a good timing. Ugh. Fuck you. And you grab yourself some immediate first aid. Alcohol seltzer. Yep. I think you gotta put out eight imps. How the hell does Alcohol seltzer like get rid of a hangover so quickly? Well, it's cartoonish, obviously. That's it's, it's not that instantaneous. First off. Uh. And if no, you didn't get them all, down the hatch again. Oh, Jesus. alka seltzer and water is not necessarily, just water alone is not to drain out the uh, alcohol. By the way, you know the name of this chapter? Pistastic. <laughs> no, I mean, not chapter, the um, episode. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping for a twin shooter. Because <laughs> this, this is the first thing I want to see, a squirrel giving golden showers. May all your showers be golden, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Boss fight. No, I don't piss in this one. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that lost, that's the reason this game lost game of the year. <laughs> you don't get to shit on the big, big guy? Yeah. Liars! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it gets better, Elliot. Notice a lot of snobby people around this chapter. Ponzi, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's balls of steel. Balls of brass. Balls of brass, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all anybody needs. Anyway, actually, Elliot's right. You do shit on the boiler. It'll try to get over there for a flamethrower, but if it comes there, you unload a sewage tank into it. Then... You take a whack at the balls, do Absolutely. You? Contact sensitive. <laughs> Oh. I flinch when I feel that too, <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> oh, God. Meanwhile, it's meanwhile it's utterly shrieking. Mama! Does his voice get higher pitch? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, if God. you want, if you want, bro, if you can, when we do this during this fight, if you want, at one point you can like mute our voices. Yeah. And then you can listen to what he screams out. It would be good for the fans too if they want to hear it. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, each corner goes away, so, um, you're gonna have to learn one of each corner. 
It's not a hard fight here, just mind the flamethrower. Yeah, it looks like it'd be a simple boss fight, and it looks like you're given invincibility frames when you're pulling down the pulley. Right. Time frame ain't so lenient, though, especially as the time goes on. How much more can he take, man? <laughs> I'd imagine one more... I imagine two more bricks to the sweet spot will do it in. Is the final shot a flick? Oh, it's oh more, it's God! <laughs> Those hurt more, you know. They do. Alright, <laughs> shit, I missed. Oh! Stop that. <laughs> right off of the damn thing. <sighs> Not upon it. You can't pawn him. Oh. How are you gonna sell them on the market anyway? Hey, wanna buy my balls? <laughs> <laughs> these are somewhat testicles. <laughs> I, I'm sure they. they you are not a good salesman. <laughs> I right, buy these testicles. <laughs> and we can't get out the back. And they can't get out the back door because that's the back passage. One hundred percent balls to the walls, nuts. It did. <laughs> Double hunt. Is that the name of the trap? Is, uh, is that the name of the episode? Uh, the episode? Balls to the walls, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that didn't kill them. But I can't piss them out either, so... You're gonna have to drag two of the balls. Oh, God. Drag one over to the pressure-sensitive area. That opens the gate. Take the other ball. Hey, don't fucking test me. I got testes. <laughs> <laughs> Now drop. Now shove the other one down the pit here. <laughs> the mook just disappears. Okay, never mind. Went backwards. And we have our way out. Okay then. So we do nothing about those fire demons. No, leave them. Alone. No, just leave them alone. And now we can get the money. But notice the attention to detail on this one if you missed it earlier. Yo, you want some great stuff? Notice anything? It looked like American cash. No. Yeah. I don't know. Cash. Every other dollar package we had thus far was ten dollars. In other words, you saw ten on each of them. Yeah. That one we saw one. Oh. Ten dollars. <laughs> Shit. That's about as bad as someone giving you a stack with e someone gives you a stack and it looks like it's like a thousand dollars because it's a twenty on the outside, but it's full of ones. But there's more to it. Remember the deal? Yeah. Ten percent. Yeah. See, this is what happens when we don't ask how much money we're getting. Right. One, two, three. Do you just technically molesting a sentient ten dollar pat bundle? I thought you said it was a fortune. Ten dollar fortune. I'll tell you what. Here's a new deal. You know what? As weird as this sounds, I can imagine Brad Dorif voice in Conquer. I actually could too. Go look it up. No, 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 no. I know who the voice of Conqueror is in this game. But I'm just saying. I could also imagine Brad Dourif playing the role. You know who Brad Dourif is? That old fan now. The, the voice of Chucky. The voice of Chucky. Child play. Oh, yeah. I'm also a Chucky Finster. <laughs> it could work. <laughs> now we gotta bail. For those of us who missed that cutscene, the shark is getting loose. Oh shit. Now he's pissed. Oh yeah, he's going after them, alright. Use the catfish to slow him down. Damn! Jaws homage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an instant kill if you get chomped up. Uh, hold that thought down. Oh, we're right to the fish. Oh, okay. I just had to get her. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> How long is this bridge? Just long enough. Ouch. 
<laughs> now, what do you say we really claim that fortune? Oh, oh okay. thank God. And these are tens. Was it ninety dollars? Yep. Hundred? No, three hundred dollars. Appropriately, because we don't like three separate missions. Oh, I'll be able to get rid of my mortgage <laughs> and buy my car. Excellent. Conquer lives the American dream more than the average American does nowadays. He's British. He's British. Rare is a British company. What? Is that supposed to be a British accent? It is. It's not. Britain does have various accents. I mean, I'm only. I'm not that familiar with all of them, but it is a big. It is. A, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know that. It's just that I totally didn't get any sort of that dialect at all. Then again, I can't. Again, this, I, I bring it up uh, uh, earlier in the Let's Play, but the voice direction is something that I'm still a bit iffy about. Not. That Say that doesn't detract from the comedy. Uh, you know, everyone sounds like they smoked a fuckload of Marlboros. Right. 